All right, hi, Willy. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm really glad to finally meet you and tell you that I love the movie. I enjoyed it so much. Sherlock, why are you here? Is it my case or your own? Both. Seems our cases are connected. The game has found its feet again. Enola must be such a dream character to play. She has everything. She's smart, she's a badass, she can fight, she's feminine. I love her. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's, been, it's been amazing to be able to play her. Tell me a little bit about you in your producing role and, you know, bring into life this story, this franchise, working with your sister. Tell me about that. Um, well, originally when we began reading the series, I was, in, you know, really, really interested in just playing her and bringing the story to light. My sister, who is very book smart. Um, she absolutely also just reads books within 15 minutes and got through the series and said, we need to buy the rights. So we bought the rights as a production company and uh, we finally brought it to light. Everyone was on board, thank goodness. Um, we had a good pitch <laughs> and um, we waited a few years until I got a bit older and we, we went ahead. Good afternoon. Well, where do you see this franchise going? Like, what's the future for her? I really hope that we get to tell more of her story. I think that she has so much more growth and... Um, yeah. And I just think that, yeah, there's just it's more cases for her to solve. <laughs> tell me a little bit about the you know, the feminism vibe that was, I mean, you can feel it throughout the movie, but uh, tell me if it, if it was very Latin in, during filming, you know, you and your dynamic and your chemistry with all the girls on set. Um, it was amazing. Anola's one of my favorite projects to be able to go to set on. It's just like a very happy set. Everyone there is so sweet, so bubbly, has just a great spirit. And I think that's all up to Harry. Harry is so good at bringing great crew members on. Um, and obviously I had incredible women to work up against and oh, it was a beautiful moment and uh, Helena and Susie and Rara and Hannah and Abby and goodness, sh well, I, I shouldn't really say because I don't want to spoil, but yes, all of them were incredible to work with and they were um, really amazing women. No one else cares for these girls but I think I've made things worse. Nonsense. Find your allies. Work with them, and you will become more of who you are. Stop that! You could be magnificent. Usually when we, you know, go to Netflix, we binge on stuff that involves you, like Stranger Things, and, you know, now we have two movies of Enola and stuff. What does Millie binge on Netflix? Uh, I love Bridgerton. Okay. I also love, I love any reality dating show. So I'm like really? obsessed with Love is Blind, <laughs> The Ultimatum, I Married at First Sight, I love it all. Well, my last question, I asked a lot of, um, of your fans, what do they want to ask you? And they said, when are you going to come to Peru and when is Florence going to be available internationally so that we in Peru can purchase? <laughs> so um, I hope I can come to Peru soon. Um, obviously with the pandemic and stuff, it prohibited me from traveling and especially when filming, um, we have to be as safe as possible and not travel. But now everything's getting a bit easier. Um, yes. I hope to come and visit you guys soon. Um, and I will, um, you know, we are focusing very much on getting Florence to be international. Yes, well, thank you so much. I love talking thank to you, you and good luck. Hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye, babe. Shouldn't you be in finishing school?